Welcome everyone! We are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing our playthrough of Little Nightmares 2. And boy, do the monsters really like kidnapping Six in this. It's like, they see you and they just like, break your skull in. But they see Six and it's like, yep, tie her up. Well, it's because she's a girl. <laughs> I guess. I did uh, once, it was like on the random scroll of DeviantArt, there was an artwork of, uh, was it, Catriel Leighton, you know, from the new one, who's apparently not very well liked by Leighton fans. Why? Uh, well, because apparently the series, the game, people don't like her as a character too much, she's a bit self-centred. Um, her puzzle solving is like, she solves a puzzle but doesn't quite explain it. Like, it's you know, it's like, she calls out the sort of things, and it's like, she doesn't have the evidence, but they'll admit to it. Yeah. Again, from what I hear from critics of it, and the puzzles are very weak. That's the one button. Um, but, um... The puzzles being weak have nothing to do with her as a character. Yeah, but it's, like, to do with her <laughs> game thing. Because it's yeah. basically seen as, like, the death of the latent series. Okay. Because, uh, you know, Level 5's shut down their North American branch, aren't really releasing games overseas unless someone else helps them out with it. Level 5 suffered badly. Yeah. Which some people say upon the latent situation, but I think part of the problem... Is uh, due to their failure to capitalize on uh, Yokai Watch because they were really trying to get that to take off overseas. Yeah. And the only place it really did out well outside of Japan was Germany. But that part of that I feel was oh. well, one because like Pokemon competitors have a tougher time outside of Japan. I feel. Yes. But also because they're all just seen as like a Pokemon esque thing rather than their own thing. But also. Um, they took too long to localize a lot of it, so they were like back to back releases of the Yoko Watch games. Also, not helped by the localizing efforts where they tried to change it so that it's in Japan, in America for the first game, whereas, you know, despite being set, you know, did a four kids yeah. thing. But then the third game was set in America, so they had to make up like a new stake land sort of thing. Uh, hmm. Or Texan land or something, you know, which is why the whole region was based off America in the third game. Yeah. Um. Do I but yeah, like, um, uh, but I did remember this one artwork that popped up on Demon like years back, where it's like it was like a you know capture a late and tied up sort of thing. But it was a funny one because it's like I think, wait, this sort of thing never happened to my father, and the summer was like that's because your father wasn't a hot chick, <laughs> <laughs> which is you know shame on them. Professor, I'm sure there is an audience for Professor Lane in bondage. Oh, one hundred percent. Tie up that top hat. Man who looks like he's from a Duplo set. I mean, I guarantee you someone would be into it. <laughs> probably there is always it. someone. Say, if you want, I could probably find <laughs> artwork of it right now. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, as I mentioned before, I'd, uh, in the last episode, where I mentioned Two Spoons, go check out Two Spoons website and all that, you know. Promotion, yay! They had a chat with me about tea. It was really appreciated because I can't really have in-depth conversation about tea with many people. Um, hopefully, I'll get a tea job someday. But at this rate, uh, the thing I'm looking to might be applying for, like, ironically, it's not quite tea, but they do serve tea. But like that coffee shop downtown. Yeah. Because like, at least be able to, you know, I'm fair. You know, that will give me experience with whilst well, not quite my thing. Because like. Oh no, my dream job is to get one at Wittard sort of thing. They do also do coffee and hot chocolate, so it might be good to just build my knowledge and understanding of that as well. Even if uh, they're not quite as my interest as tea. Yeah. Or even like, you know, I think like uh, the pretzel stand I may consider applying for a job for, you know, I think they do bubble tea sort of thing, which really isn't my sort of thing, but... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. But at the same time, it's like, well, that's still something I can say I know about these things. Even yeah. though people who drink bubble tea are heretics. <laughs> like how can it be a tea it's cold um to be fair the way you drink your teas to me that's because you burn yourself with your teas yes the way it should be drunk <laughs> what's the point in eating <laughs> sign cup if you don't eat it whilst it's hot well it's like a green tea you, you boil the water but then you wait until it gets to a couple minutes usually till it gets to about 8 degrees before you pour it in Cowards. No, it's because you lose the flavour from the green tea if you pour it in. Cowards. When it's boiled. 
You want your green tea to have flavour! You want it to burn. Or at least a flavour other than pure bitter. Um, but yeah, uh, look, conveniently on my birthday, which is another thing to talk about, uh, there was a food fair going downtown, so I went to check out the food fair. It was interesting, like I said, I got the conversation with two spoons. Uh, very nice. Um, it was unfortunately very crowded, though. Uh, so it was, the atmosphere wasn't you know, quite as good because there was too many people. You, know, yeah. you couldn't like have proper time to discuss things. I had an interesting conversation about you know what diabetes appropriate chutneys exist. Right. Apparently there's something called black sugar, which is not as... Like, so it comes across as high sugar levels, but it's better for someone with diabetes. Yeah. Um, because the person, uh, because I asked the person, because Grandad likes chutneys a lot. Yeah. And I got him a good chutney set. Oh, I got him a, what was it called? A Pilgrim's, uh, no, Plowman's? Yeah. Plowman's set. So that's cheeses, chutneys, all that sort of stuff. Um, but one of the chutneys, the onion chutney, onion and apple chutney, was very high in the sugar content. And of course, Grandad's diabetic, so. Yeah. Um, I wanted to see if I could get one which was more appropriate, and I think I've got one. He, he recommended me because he'd never been the person had never been asked this before, but he recommended saying this one's from Black Sugar, so this one should be more appropriate. Yeah. Um, but it's something I'm always asking because, like, again, I don't because like Grand and Nan always like, oh, just you know, pay for a meal sort of thing. But that's boring if they don't have something to open, you know? Yeah. Um, I also con or conveniently got Granite's Christmas present the same day, but that wasn't from the food fair. Uh, but I was downtown at that point. Um, so much of the stuff Kiris would have loved. So many sauces, so many cheeses. Yeah. And, uh, heck, the main cafe stand I went to outside, because there was three bars outside. I thought it was just that. I didn't realise I was actually in the town hall until a little later, which I then actually went into. I'm glad I did, because I found out about two spoons as a result. But yeah. Um, was like a grilled cheese bar for like a you know grilled cheese van. Okay. So it was like I had a pulled pork grilled cheese sandwich, and that was delicious. Um, is that gonna turn back on after a delay? Trial and error, Raffy. Trial and error. Nah, doesn't sound like it. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, I had some chocolate from Fairtrade, saw, a, like, uh, people talking about, you know, food wastage and such, and it's like, I sadly already got that information from, uh, Kiris when we were at Costco the other day, when, uh, as he mentioned about all the policies that are for supermarket in terms of displaying food because at Costco they were throwing away the food after like they had like pretty much a pizza with just one slice taken out that was on display so I think 15 minutes past they threw it away the rest of the pizza slices oh because apparently you're only supposed to have food I think it's like an hour to two hours on display before you have to throw it away because of health and safety reasons yeah but it's like food will be out for much longer at your own home like it's my problem with like health and safety like you know in like a lot of places a lot of the policies they don't care if it's for your own home. It's not about health and safety. It's about covering their asses. Yeah. It's not about your health. It's just so they don't get sued. Yeah. Um. But you know that's why a lot of food, like a lot of the food wastage and such, and a lot of the recycling problems, aren't from the common person. Uh, I think Curious watched a video the other day on that, where it's like, a lot of companies have put the problems on you, not yeah. the actual, you know, actual companies to do the recycling and such. Because a lot of the recycling, uh, so there are several of the recycling items which don't actually get properly recycled because they can't be bothered to sort it out because of the amount of things that are blended together. Yeah. Like, you know, how you couldn't recycle, you know, there are certain cups that could, you know, mugs could be recycled from like, uh, I can't remember which cafe chains it were, but some of the big cafe chains because they do it in such a way where it's impossible to recycle the polyester. Yeah. Because they can't separate it. They have like that mesh thing. Um... But that was a very depressing stand. But I knew my knowledge then already from Kira, so I didn't talk with them because, like, I don't want to depress myself. Yeah. <laughs> with just how much the you know gets wasted, sort of thing. Um, I don't know, but, you know, again, it was a very fun time. But there was another disappointing thing: is I got a, uh, I got this really nice thing, a um, prezzo, a pre pesto filled Italian flatbread, 
and then I forgot it. I left it there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I bought it and I left it, and it was fu- it was really bad because they did already t- they told me how to like you know you know cook it heat up in the microwave for five minutes or thing. Well, oven for five minutes or thing um, to get the best quality. Eat within three days. Are you trying to land on the grill? Okay, it's taking me back here. Mm. Does it have anything to do with the ball oh. or the teddy bear? Or do you wouldn't be able to get it through, so... The, hot, the doorway, would you? No, I tried. Um, is there something slightly in the corner? <laughs> Could you push that further? No, I don't think so. That's him. Yeah, okay, that's just the sound of the creaking. Okay, I thought that was it, you know, the sound of it moving sort of thing. Okay. Um, Can't reach that either. But yeah, um, but it was a nice food fair and um, a good little pick-me-up. Like I said, though, you know, normally, though, the, the first time I felt kind of like not low in mood was kind of yesterday. Just yeah. sitting down, not thinking about anything and just playing Soul Calibur. Um, but oh. yeah, the food fair was fun in of itself. It's just that every time I'm not doing something, my mood drops. Drops. But yeah, the, really yesterday do. was the first time that, you know, because like, oh yeah, sure, I was playing a video game, but that's not really something, you know, unless I'm recording, that's not really something that's really progressing. And I'm very yeah. big on the progressing thing. But that was the first time I was just like, All right, I figured out why static, as it were. Um, you know, you know, in terms of like doing stuff, that I was actually kind of just happy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get you. Which, uh, took a while. Um. Yeah, I also got to. Uh, I also got to. I had. I tried out a gluten chocolate cake because Curious might need to go gluten based because it is gluten free. Yeah, gluten free. Um, yeah, the opposite of that. Uh, so I had a gluten-free chocolate cake uh, because, you know, I had to, you know, I was just taste testing to make sure for him, you know. Yeah. So I had to. Very nice. I was quite surprised. I was expecting the, I was expecting the texture to be different because usually it's supposed to be different. Yeah. But either they just, either it was a case that they, uh, either the case it's not or they just did a really good job of baking the cake because it tasted ever so smooth. Um... Taste was a little bit different, but that could be the taste of the chocolate dye, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of feel sorry for like people who want those gluten-free diets or things, because it feels like something that kind of got skipped out on. Like, we had a big thing about, you know, nut-free and vegetarian sort of thing, and then, but then it, like, the gluten-free stage kind of got immediately skipped over for people obsessing over vegan food. Yeah. So it feels like a lot of emphasis on making gluten-free products kind of got, like, leapt over. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand And, you know, it's that. a shame because, like, people who want gluten-free food aren't as much of a asshole as vegans. So... It's also usually, <laughs> like, nine times out of ten. There are good vegans, but there is a lot of insufferable vegans. And gluten stuff, it's almost always medical reasons. Mm. You don't get people uppity about themselves for being gluten-free. No. You know? Because they probably don't even want to be gluten-free. You get a lot of people uppity about being... You know, vegan. Um. Ah. Is this England? There's a queue for the TV. I suppose you go into the post box. Ah, what are you doing? Look like you hide that. It's fine. They only care about the TV. Okay. As long as there's a TV on, they won't attack you. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them back there. Yeah, they're trying to get in. You, you don't notice that? I was mentioning that about queuing. Oh, no. Oh, they can open doors. Okay. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing serious. I mean, it, it will be after, you know, we finish recording or sort of thing. Well, have a break. Oh. Hobnob's yeah. mess. That's all. Your, liz- the, your lizard is boot. I also haven't played him yet. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, he has been fed. That's the rest of the message. He's messed, but he's been fed. Didn't know if you planned to feed him an insect today, but... 
Um, no. Um, Wait, what day is it? Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I do actually need to feed him bugs. Okay. Surprised he's messed already. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, um, very fair. It was, it was good. Yes. As we talk about a lizard pooping. <laughs> I might as well, uh, Come well on, climb up. You got anything to talk about? I was I was thinking I could go into my birthday, but I didn't know if you'd uh, want to mention. Oh, oh, six! See, even without colour, she's got an iconic design. Also, it's kind of funny, because you kind of just been randomly wandering through TVs, and you just happen to find her. Probably should have started running instead of trying to. Uh, oh, oh, axe. Can I just axe him? I know. It's I somewhat think work, so, but... but. Let's end the final boss. Uh, no. No. Nope. Oh, no. You mean grab by uh, Slender Man cosplaying? Michael Jackson. He just teleported. That's cheating, buddy. Where'd that axe even come from? It's not here! Hmm. The sheer presence of Six formed axes. Also, Six, just eat his soul <laughs> like you did all those fat people. <laughs> but he's not nutritious enough. There's no f fat on him. It reminds me of the Simpsons scene where si uh, Homer's about to be uh, poisoned. Huh? And the Ray Lisa stops him from eating the poisonous uh, food. Is like, you're screaming out, it's low fat! <laughs> he throws it away and he explodes. So I suppose whilst you're ready for your life, I could talk about my birthday. He, he took Fine. his... Oh, I was about to say, he, he uh, took his sweet time to do anything. It's like, he's are you bit, lagging? I think he is. He's a bit jittery. <laughs> mm. Yeah, my birthday was... Uh, oh, that's where the axe is. Recently, as I said, it was the same day as the food fair. So, yeah, I got presents. Not my main present. My main present was to be an Amiga 500 Mini. Uh, but that got delayed by a month, so... Can but... I not just turn the TV off on? No. No. Sadly not. It's a shame that you can't, because it would make sense, but... Um... So, like, the main thing, you know, hasn't arrived yet, but I will be getting it, and I will be enjoying it. Um... <laughs> I will enjoy it. <laughs> um... But otherwise, I got... A lot of... Oh my god. Who's <laughs> gonna... He Except fate. Grabbed me through a chair. I got a lot of Kirby figurines. Those were nice. They were, however, the same figurines I've seen the kids have, so I'm pretty sure that my older older brother, and uh, Silverwing, ended up just bulk buying them at some point and just has a collection of them to give up to people. <laughs> oh no, the message is asking if he has them first. Oh. That's fine. Because I need to give him bugs anyway, so... Yeah. Um... Just and, um, what was that about? Uh, the other Kirby things. Figures. Are, yeah, I got, um, also got the Dragon Pearl tea. Yes. yes. You got me the Dragon Pearl tea from, you know, the behind the store, the, you know, the uh, under the counter deal. Yeah. So, that'll be interesting to try. The, uh, what was it, 15 quid tea? Yeah. Uh, at some point. Um, that was also when you got that tea as well, wasn't it? The same day? Uh, I assume. I already had the Milky Oolong. Okay. Because that was... Same place, though. Both yeah. from Wittards. Yeah. You know, the Milky Oolong Hey, is... if, if you're ever hiring, I, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> if you're conveniently watching this. The Milky... Wittards. Like, all of Wittards. Wittards boss person. <laughs> CEO. <laughs> um... I can hear you walking around up there, Moonwalker. Let's see, what else did I get for my birthday? I can't even remember what I get for my own birthday, so I'm not going to remember <laughs> what you got. Um, my god, you creep. Well, I got the photo of Zero, and the photos yeah. of Zero, so, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, immediate low on my mood there, but yeah. Oh yeah, I got the Xbox Series X Duke controller. Oh yeah, that's been bright great. purple thing. Yeah, yeah, that's been great to use. Nice fit to my hands. Funny enough though, the kids struggle using it. I wonder why. Yeah. Maybe because it's bigger than them. Um, the, the little abyss was doing actually pretty well trying to use it for Soul Calibur. I feel she would have actually been able to pull off some combos if she was using an actual controller though. Yeah. Because she's, you know, she's getting there with it. Still not as obviously up to snuff as like the little hurricane, which makes, you know, obviously playing games very difficult when all of them are together. Yeah. That must have hurt. Your butt must be so sore Ow. for that. That must have hurt my arms. Mm. Um. Oh yeah, and uh, okay. I think uh, playing ending on the negative note. Uh, I also got a flask. <laughs> despite and despite showing exactly the kind of flask I needed and the bag that I need to fit the flask into and which pocket because I don't want to put it in the main bag section because. Uh, I don't want. I've twice had stuff spill out of flasks and bottles I've had before. Yeah. Ruining stuff. For, you know, it's been occurred once at each time I've had at a workplace. Yeah. Because it happened at the, my job. My job at the range. Uh, my bottle leaked, and my job at Paper Chase. The bottle leaked. Yeah. Um. Well, the second time was actually uh, a flask. My other flask. Yeah. It leaked. Uh. So I. But I. So I have a bag. But I don't want it in the main compartment. So I wanted a small. Flat flask, and I showed Mum whilst in Flying Tiger the exact kind of flask. I like, think you can get this, and she said, "No, I've already got it. I've already got the I, flask in mind for you." And so they got me the flask, and it won't fit in any of my pockets. Yep, because you wanted a hip flask. Oh, he yes. just walks because I need a job. flask to fit water in, so I don't have to, you know, use other employees' infectious cups. Yeah, it's it's not for like oh, whilst I'm on the tills, because like. You know, for instance, the job that I left now, the pet shop job, I was only on the tills for like a couple hours, and then usually I could go out back and drink some water. I don't need to explain my. I can explain myself once to the employee, you know, co workers. Yeah, this just has water in it. And I don't ever need to again. It's not something I'm drinking in front of people. Alternatively, I can use it whilst I'm on the way to work, where it doesn't matter if people. Your Michael see me. Jackson cosplay isn't even that good. Just starts moonwalking to you over the over the <laughs> throws the magical stardust at you. Ow! Well, mm, I'm dead. No, just very sore. Oh, that person's probably dead though. Ironically, you're further away from your objective of finding six again, which I don't even know what your initial objective was. You were just living in the woods, watching TV. Decided I don't want to do this anymore. Found a waifu. Oh, I think we've broken our ribs. Oh. I can't jump. Oh, six. Am I having death hallucinations like Koichi? <laughs> Will you end up fighting this uh, Slender Man Michael Jackson <laughs> blowing him to bits in the epic Can you imagine if this goes a Jura's Wrath in this point? I would like... absolutely love that. It's like the Silent Hill sort of pathways where it ends up in like a magical girl fight sort of thing. Yeah. Well, there was that one no. horror game where it had magical girl transformation, yeah, the, wasn't uh, it? Spiritual successor to Clock Tower. Yeah. Where it ends being a magical girl fight. Which the best part about that entire thing was getting to see Nitrad do a magical girl transformation. <laughs> As he becomes a traitor to America. Yeah. <laughs> that image is forever beautiful. Uh, unlike Jesse Cox, who will never become one. <laughs> Let me on the list! Let, let me, me on the in! List! Let me in! Uh, I don't, buddy, I know you like broke a rib or something. We can climb this a bit quicker, maybe. I'm surprised you can do so at all with a broken rib. Oh, I couldn't jump. Mm. Which is like, the audacity of a game to take away my jump button. Get out of a car, runs, to, uh, runs through. Do they even have cars? Oh, that looks like a flood approaching. I oh, know, it's just rainy weather. It's just a merry old day in England. Really? Uh, are we just giving up? 
Oh, I've took my hat off. This time it's serious. I'm sort of sliding away. You pull out a gun. I'm prepared for this. Uh, that doesn't look normal. Oh, what? Um, <laughs> what? Was I meant to do psych? Maybe you just like, I have the force? Yeah, no, no kidding. You literally are just gonna suck. This is gonna be a trigger. Because that's the same kind of particle effects. A that he has, and B, it's very similar to the powers. That... Um. Okay. You just blew his head off. No, I didn't blow it off, but I made him ragdoll. Um. I, mm, bodies for aren't the meant. Waifu. <laughs> bodies are not meant to contort like that. Okay, I s all buttons, some buttons. <laughs> this is a bit out of no loud left field. I got to admit. Yeah. So the first one I just made. The hat was the hat was holding back my powers. <laughs> <laughs> just take the weight. <laughs> or like the or the Steven Universe parody where it takes off the guard's hair. <laughs> oh, I think it's actually pushing the direction. Oh, okay. So, not mashing B. Cool, mm. glad I just... I'm floating in the air. Ah, uh, yeah. I have to... Based off the direction he's facing, I see. Based off the direction he's bending his body in. <laughs> what is this? He just bounces around like the inflatable wavy arm man. Remember this is a horror game? Yeah. <laughs> This is the magical girl transformation follows up with him. <laughs> no offense, buddy, you thought after the first two times your plan of just tilting your body didn't really work out for you. So, um, Mono, why did you never use this before? Explanation, please. Where's my hat gone? <laughs> Do I get his hat? Do I become Michael Jackson Moonwalker? What am I doing? Is he dying? Or is he transforming? Is he dead? I don't know. Man, a surprising amount of kid with demonic powers. I'm bending the buildings. But why? What am I... Am I splitting the Red Sea? I guess it's going to take us a lot shorter time to get to that tower than we thought. What the hell is happening? What's the point in collecting hats if I just throw it away? I can't even change it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we should probably end the episode. Oh, we yeah. Through the giant <laughs> 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 um, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um... To For Azura's Rome! I guess. <laughs> I mean, Azura's Lars for at least gave me button prompts. <laughs> I play for Azura's Rough, but you have to guess the buttons. That would actually be hilarious. <laughs> Azura's Rough randomizer. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, bye. Cheerio! Oh, wait, and like comment and subscribe I already said that oh did you okay yeah yeah so cheerio I don't really know what to say at this point I mean we knew this was gonna happen but I just didn't expect it so soon mm. like, well, actually no I didn't expect it because like you know Six had to eat someone to get her magical powers we, we've been Mono doing... just did that no we've been doing TV stuff and took off our hat oh yeah uh, how did you get your magical powers I don't know I just started watching TV I ate someone <laughs> I ate my mother <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs>